all institutions in society have a responsibility to take climate action, and that includes school districts. Schools um, have a responsibility to train the next generation to be climate leaders. And by making climate policy as a priority, they're setting an example for that. My name is Katinka Lenema, and I am a former YCA member. Um, I'm at Carmont, and I'm a junior this year. So my name is Sarah. I'm a junior at Woodside High School. Um, I was first drawn into climate change action because the stakes are high. There's like real consequences if we don't do something now. And um, I realized that there was a lot I could do in my community and um, by watching other climate activists like have policies passed and have real change and impact in their community. So that's kind of what inspired me to join this initiative. I'm Brandon. I'm a sophomore at Menlo Atherton. And I think what inspired me is that we're like the kind of like the generation that has to deal with climate change. I'm Kat Wynn. I'm a senior at Carlmont High School. And my inspiration to take climate action uh, started when I joined the Carlmont Green team during my freshman year. And since then, I've just participated in a lot of different green initiatives, not only within the club, but through external environmental organizations that I've joined to further my involvement in environmental activism. I would say that passing a climate emergency declaration is basically a sign from our schools that climate change needs to be prioritized. And it, it's emergency that other institutions, just like our schools need to address and so it kind of brings it to the forefront of like interests of like policymakers and so that's yeah so like it's important to like highlight it and like formally recognize that it's something we need to do not only is it like a way to show that the school board cares about climate change and climate action it also sets goals and agrees to take bold action in the future Sure. Setting an example, a lot of schools can like benefit from this and like take this as an inspiration to like make their own and pass their own climate resolution because um, it's really important, especially like teaching new students. Just to add on, it's definitely going to create a lot more opportunities to drive sustainable change in our district and ensure our district's accountability and making tangible progress for years to come and passing this resolution is just incredibly important because it's gonna make sustainability a priority across all of the schools within the Sequoia Union High School District and like everyone else said it will encourage other districts to follow our lead. I started this around like November last year, give or take, I think. And basically it started with basically like a very loose group of YCA students who were also interested in this project. We started like gathering support and from neighboring like institutions and students through a change.org petition. And then from there, um, we also, um, I think at that certain point, like, yeah, some other students, like other sustainability leaders like Brandon and Kat also joined our team to like work toward this. And we basically brought like the first tangible like board student interaction was when we talked to them on January 27th in a board meeting item. At the January 27th meeting, they were receptive and like kind of proud and impressed that we have presented to them but they also had a lot going on they were reopening schools they also did not have a like a permanent superintendent so that was a real challenge and it was difficult to kind of grab their attention with um, the follow-up emails when they're facing all those other pressures and so we kind of used um, journalism like local um, newspapers and school newspapers 
to as a way to kind of communicate indirectly in a way and kind of spread awareness about um, how urgent this is and how and like immediate action is needed. On Global Day of Climate Action, uh, the Green Team, we launched a 100 signature petition through um, uh, to encourage Carmont High School to declare a climate emergency. And this was a step we took before uh, the district climate emergency declaration and resolution. The support we got from it was definitely really helpful for our team when we presented during the board meeting because we had that number to back us up. And I think it was a good way to spread the word before we presented. So I think as of now, when the school board passed the resolution, I think as the news was spreading around, it kind of brought climate change back to the forefront of people's minds. Like students, teachers, staff will all kind of become involved in this. So another thing that we're gonna try and bring up at the May 12th meeting that we're presenting at is that their San Mateo Office of Education, they have a, like a baseline assessment that they can perform at schools. So that's something we're gonna try and bring to light and get our school district to do. Uh, yeah, so I'm hoping the climate emergency declaration will just in general bring awareness to the climate crisis and inspire more students to create sustainable change at their schools and communities. And this is just a really huge milestone that has the potential to create monumental change. And I think it will definitely encourage student groups to work together and bring about a lot of positive changes. It's just gonna like inspire a lot of change, especially among like student groups. Um, so yeah, like a lot of schools have like climate or like green clubs. So I think a lot of them will start maybe like following, um, yeah, maybe present like creating their own climate decorations and presenting it to their school boards. The hardest part is taking the first steps and to have the confidence in yourself to know that you are capable of bringing about these changes, even though it might seem huge and daunting to talk to these like institutions that don't seem to have a face and seem so powerful in the wake of you one person. So, and I think just quick shout out here just to have like it's been so great to have such like a strong team of people who are all working together to work toward this and also like the youth commission has been super helpful and andra from sam Tao office of education i think has been also so great in just providing us support really it can take the load off and make you feel like you're not in this alone and in a way like could take the saying like make it less daunting so don't be afraid to reach out to, I don't know, the Office of Sustainability. They could help you. Um, other youth organizations, they want to help you. So definitely don't be afraid to ask for help. Don't like take too much on. Um, a lot of people are willing to do the same thing you are. It's just you have to like find who they are. Um, so yeah, like maybe get some friends or just get some people who are interested in the same thing as you. Uh, I'd say to have at least one thing that inspires you to do what you do. Uh, like it could be a quote, a physical object, a place, or just anything that brings you back to your purpose, because it can definitely be difficult to stay motivated throughout the entire journey. Uh, like it gets hard and, um, but if you have that, one thing that brings you back to your goal, you'll have an easier time uh, doing what you do and you'll definitely be a lot happier. And for me, uh, just being in green spaces like nature and seeing native plants, uh, that's kind of what brings me joy throughout all of this catastrophe, like all the tragic news headlines. It can all be really frustrating to see, uh, but nature definitely helps me uh, recognize the beauty of our world and stay reminded of the reason why I decided to pursue this path of environmentalism.